Right now, it is National Blood Donor Month. A lot of people have never donated before, but doctors say it's worth considering, and hospitals are always looking to increase their supply. Blood that is donated can be used for surgical patients who are undergoing surgery, for trauma patients who've had a significant injury, or patients with other medical conditions that might require a transfusion. Now listen to this. Every two seconds, someone in the U.S. needs blood or platelets. So there's so much demand. And today, Life South is here in Jacksonville hosting a blood drive for one little girl. She's so special. Her name is Eliana. She was born three years ago and spent over a month in the NICU. She received over 30 pints of blood, which is what ultimately saved her life. And we're so thankful for that. Joining us this morning to talk about her story and the importance of donating blood, Melissa Brusso, Eliana, right here. Hi. <laughs> Hi, she's still wondering what's going on with all the cameras and the lights. And then, of course, James Scon with Life South. Good morning to all three of you. Thank you for coming on. Melissa, I want to talk to you as mom, uh, you know, what you went through here. And, and let's talk about that life-saving gift from multiple people that is the reason she's here today. Um, actually, I'm the one that received the the blood, 33 units myself. So you did, so, but. <laughs> but yes, um, three three years ago today, today's her third birthday, um, I was rushed back for an emergency C-section and they thought uh, potential placental eruption and accreta. Mm -hmm. um, I was able to see her as they pulled her over the sheet and introduced us, but slightly, shortly after I started to fade and they rushed my husband out of the room, I was told later that they, I, they called code blue um, the doctors and nurses fought for hours uh, to stop the bleeding. What mm. they found out when they went in is I had a condition called percreta. The placenta grew through and attached to my bladder and my cervix. Um, so I had a massive hemorrhage. It took them hours to stop the bleeding. I, I ended up receiving over 33 units of blood to save my life that day. Wow. Wow. Um, I praise God for all the, not only the doctors, the nurses, and the surgeons who worked so hard for hours to save my life, but the many selfless people who donated mm. the life-saving blood. Because had that blood not been there that day, I wouldn't be here today to celebrate her third birthday and the many milestones that my family and I, we've enjoyed over the last three years. Yeah, yeah, I, I know it's gotta be emotional for you, but, but you're here and, and you're thankful for it. So, so let's talk about Life South and, and what you do, what your role is in this process. So we provide blood for the city of Jacksonville, 70% uh, of the hospitals here, all the level one and level two trauma centers. Um, I mean, her story is, is one that uh, should, I hope, inspire people to come out and donate themselves if they haven't before. Ever since the pandemic, we've had trouble getting enough people in mm. to support the local blood supply. But it's stories like this that make it a little more real, I think, to people to go, oh, yeah, this, this is something that actually affects my community, mm -hmm. people that I can meet and see. Mm -hmm. Now, Melissa, before you were in this situation, this life or death situation, did you know a lot about blood donations? I didn't. I would try to donate a couple of times, but I didn't like my finger. It hurt to prick my finger or I didn't want to take the time. And I, that's why we do what we do each year now with the blood drive to get to make the awareness, get people to realize, hopefully put a face and a name to the story to realize it, the importance because just one donation could be the difference between life or death for somebody. So being in this situation myself, I now realize the importance of, of blood donation and, and just it, a minor inconvenience mm. of 30 minutes is the difference between life and death. I wouldn't be here, we wouldn't be here yeah. if oh. not for those donors who took the time to donate. And such an incredible story, and we're, we're so thankful that you're here and you're able to, you know, uh, raise your family. So let's talk about this. How can we make a difference in honor of this family? So we're doing this blood drive today over at uh, HCA Florida uh, Orange Park Hospital. Mm -hmm. You can go there till 4. We'll be there to collect blood. But any day of the week, you can find one of our buses or go to one of our centers and donate. You just make the time to do it. It's lifesouth.org. It's, it's a pretty easy, pretty, like she said, it's about 30 minutes of your time to potentially save a local life. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of myths out there. A lot of people say, oh, I'm not healthy enough. Oh, I'm not able to, to donate blood. Can you clear that up for us real quickly? I would encourage anybody who's got questions on if they could or couldn't to go to the website. We've got a, a bunch of frequently asked questions. Um, there is a number of FDA regulations that do preclude some people from donating, but they change all the time. So like, for instance, there's a, uh, there was a longstanding FDA regulation about uh, if you lived in, between 80s and 90s in uh, Europe, 
Well, mm-hmm. that's, that's gone now. So if okay. you were in Ireland, England, France, uh, I, people come up and they have the accent. I know exactly what they're about to ask me. And it's like, sure. It used to be that I'd say, hey, I wish I could, you know. Now we can. Um, same with tattoos. There's a lot of mis, uh, misinformation or sure. things that are old holdups from old FDA regulations. So I encourage people to just look at it. Right. Lifestyle.org. We can yeah. figure it out. Times have changed. Right there on the bottom of your screen, if you can't memorize it, take a picture right now on your phone. Certainly an incredible thing. And also, we're going to post this on our website, newsforjacks.com. But HCA, Orange Park, that's where you can go today until 4 o'clock. Donate blood. Celebrate. Celebrate Eliana's third birthday. And, of course, we're celebrating having, having you with us to be here for this. So thank you all for coming on and, and telling your stories. Thank you for having us. Right. Yeah, thank you for having us. Amanda? Absolutely.